Americans are spending more on food than at any time in 33 years. Ooh, it's 33, how dare I? Here's a headline from the Wall Street Journal. It's been 30 years since food ate up this much of your income. It's actually 33. I don't know why they say 30, because it's 2024. They go back to 1991. The last time Americans spent this much money on their food, George H.W. Bush was in office, and Terminator 2 was in theaters, and CNC Music Factory was rocking the billboard charts. Yep. Eating continues to cost more, even as overall inflation has eased. Prices at restaurants and other eateries were up 5.1% last month compared with January of 2023, while eating at home was only up 1.2%. So point, man, just got to eat more at home. Got to eat more at home. The, the food, let me show you. I'm going to show you this chart that you got right here. Dining out. Look at that jump in dining out. That's a pink. A big jump in groceries, too, but not nearly to the extent of dining out. And look, it's three decades. It's a 33 decade, 33 year high, three decade high, though. Either 1991. We were spending over 11% of our total income on food. We're right back to where we were in 1991. Crazy. So this lady says right here, uh, suburban Lisa Wester said her food bills are rising faster than her income. I 100% agree with that, man. And I look, I, I thought for sure as the cost of energy went down, the price of food would be going down too. I thought for sure that would happen. It didn't happen. It's not because, I mean, a little bit because of government spending, but that's not the driver of inflation. It's just not because we have so many instances where that did not drive inflation. Uh, we could say regulation, 100% regulation drives it for sure. Absolutely. Uh, a shortage of employees. That's another driver. One, I mean, some government printing too. Don't, it's all these different things. But everyone wants to have this pure and easy answer. But thankfully, Biden's to the rescue because Biden says the American public is tired of being played for suckers. I've had enough what they call shrinking, shrink shrinkage or shrinkflation it's a ripoff what are you gonna do there sniffy joe what are you gonna do companies say they're they are feeling pinched themselves while commodities such as corn wheat coffee beans and chicken have gotten cheaper prices for sugar beef and french fries are still high and rising companies across the u.s have raised prices beyond covering their own higher expenses lifting profits for industries including retail biotech and manufacturing and very interesting and they come down here and they say i'm gonna show you something no no they, big food makers, including Hershey and Kraft, have reported that their sales volumes declined as prices rose for their products, with several reporting a hit to profits in the latest, latest fiscal year. Huh. Huh. So they just said that the companies are making more money, but then they, in the same article, they say Hershey and Kraft said they weren't. Denny's, Wendy's, and other restaurant chains told investors that this month their guest counts fell compared to 2022, as consumers, in particularly those of lower incomes, feel the financial pinch. Oreo maker Mondelez uh, said in January it would continue raising prices on some of its products, largely because of cocoa prices, which served to a 46-year record. Hershey said this month expects more expensive cocoa to cut the company's profits. Yep. Companies are set to pay for more staffing, which is going to hurt more profits and is going to drive the prices up even more. Uh, after 22 states in January lifted the minimum wage for hourly workers, hiring skilled workers like mechanics to replace employees who retired during the pandemic is particularly expensive, says this guy who owns 17 uh, food and beverage plants that make Phil Pillsbury cakes and make other products, 100%. So labor shortage. I actually thought the depopulation agenda would lead to more deflation. Actually, the facts are we don't have any skilled labor, not enough skilled labor. That's just a fact. We don't. And so with the lack of skilled labor coming in, the lack of people being able to do the grunt work there when he's done, electricians, plumbers, mechanics, boiler technicians, all that stuff, <laughs> on top of that, the massive amounts of regulation. As this lady posted on Facebook, uh, some lib, and she said, it's easier to buy a rifle, an assault rifle in Texas than to buy a taco. And I said, well, define assault rifle first because they, you know, they, there's no definition for assault rifle. Something that makes me scared, Josh. And I said, but you're missing this point, lady. The point is how insanely heavily regulated it is to provide a taco. So a free, if we're a free country, they sh she showed all this regulation that they had to do to be able to sell a talk to a consumer. I said, that's not freedom, dude. That's insanity. So you missed the point. Oh, I can go to a store and buy a rifle, and, uh, 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 but yet I got to go through all these regulations. about. It's, the whole thing was just dumb anyway. I'm thinking they're thinking to manufacture the firearm, you still got to go through all the stuff that this, it's just, oh my goodness, liberals are just not the, they're just, it's so, no, no. But either way, I'm sitting there, don't you see how insane the regulation is? There's regulation for everything from the OSHA to
to MSHA, that's Mining Safety Health Administration, just the FDA, the CDC. Come here. No, come here. No, the Department of Labor. No, no, no. Come here. There's regulations on top of regulations. What do you think that does to manufacturing? That's crazy, man. But anyway, it's a deal. It's a big deal. Food is expensive relative to where it was, and everybody knows that. They're seeing the food hit their incomes more and more. Now, I will tell you, if you actually look at the inflation numbers from the previous years, well, we used to measure uh, CPI in, uh, and f food was one of the top, it's not the top or number two, I can't remember, one of the top two of inflation was food back in the old days. The old CPI days, we used to measure food as about 33% of total CPI. The price of food was about 33%. You should read my book, Relax and Retire, because I show you that. It's actually quite interesting. So the price of food relative to income has dropped significantly. So now food only represents 11% of total uh, of total expenditures, which is higher than it's been over the last 30 years, I grant you, but still significantly lower than where it was in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. It's just significantly lower. It's crazy. Apparel used to be, I think, in the top three. So the top three is, I want to say it's housing, apparel, and food were the top three measurements for inflation. Apparel is like 1% to 2% now. Food it was 8 now it's 11%. It's a big jump, don't get me wrong, but still relative to what it was in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and probably even the 50s, Food has just dropped like a brick and water relative to how much everything else has gone up. Medicare cost, medical cost, housing has gone up. Transportation has gone up significantly relative to where it was before. But also uh, just um, casual stuff. I'm drawing a blank what this is called. But there's another uh, c c number five was, I forgot. But it's like, you know, just hanging out, you know, r r you know just chilling. You know what I'm saying? That, oh, there's a term for it. I'm drawing a blank what it's called. Casual is not casual. Anyway, I can't remember. Uh, but it was something like where you can just relax, if that makes sense. That's like number five in overall CPI for right now. And it's the way it's been since the 70s. It's so very, very interesting. So while food has jumped up quite a bit, it sucks, dude. I mean, I got family sick. So you think I don't feel it? Thankfully, when we go out, I drink water. I tell my kids to drink water because soda's crap. And uh, soda's just a profit margin for the Coke and Pepsi. Don't drink soda, dude. It's such a profit thing. And then my wife doesn't drink. She'll drink a, a unsweet tea, which I wish she wouldn't because even that's expensive. But... You know, we don't drink alcohol. So when we go out, we don't have appetizers. We don't drink anything but water. And she'll drink a sweet, unsweet tea. Uh, that's, and we don't go out that much. I'm going to order some public subs right now because they're on sale. In fact, she, this lady talked with the author talked about right here. Uh, many diners have said they're going out less frequently or skipping appetizers while buying cheap store brands more frequently at supermarkets, 100%. Great value, Kirkland, whatnot. And seeking out promotions or deals offered by apps. Yep. That has started to chip away at some sales for food makers and restaurant operators, too. Yeah, so we use BOGOs at Publix, and then we use the Kroger app. You know, you can get some serious deals on these things, and I, I'll load up, man, 100%. I'm sure when Publix sees me, they're like, clock up the store. Here comes Scanlon with his BOGOs. Love me some BOGOs. But it's no joke, dude. And this, uh, this is a big, you know, it's always, politics is always a, a pocketbook issue. It always is. They're going to push abortion. The Republicans are going to push funding Israel, I suppose, you know, the Democrats and Republicans funding is Ukraine, you know, they're, they're going to push abortion. They're going to push the Republicans are white supremacists. The Republicans, I, you know, the Republicans just aren't, they're like, we're not white supremacists. Let me prove it to you. It's just, oh, my best friend's black. That's what Republicans do to show they're not racist instead of just firing back and saying, that's just dumb. But at the end of the day, it's all about pocketbook issues. When you got to pay more of your income to, to food, that's not being happy. That doesn't make you happy. But of course, you know, I'd love to hear Sniffy Joe's argument other than oh, they're sick of being played for suckers, says Sniffy Joe. No. All right. Love your thoughts. We're going live here at 8 o'clock tonight on YouTube, uh, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So be there or be square. God bless.